Hello my friends, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna share with you four different resources for Webflow. These tools and resources that I'm gonna share today will help you speed up your process while developing websites inside Webflow. So let's check them out. My name is Kyle, I'm the CTO of We Are No Code, and in this channel, we talk about no code tools, the no code space, and we help you build your own startup business idea without writing code yourself. So, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave the thumbs up on this video. So, are you a Webflow user? I am, and these tools, when I found out about them, saved my life. Hope it will save your life too. So, let's get into it. The first website I want to share with you today is called Flowbase. And inside Flowbase, you can find a lot of useful resources for you to build inside Webflow. Let's take a look. They have a pretty website with amazing design. They offer components, templates, and design assets. Some of them are free and some of them are paid and they have an amazing design library and amazing templates as well. So the idea is that when you are building a new Webflow project, you come to this website and you can search for templates. So you can get templates like this one, for example, but also they have specific components that you might want to use inside your project. So it's up to you if you want to get the full templates or just a single component like a nav bar, like some specific session and pricing section. So they have this library with a lot of pre-made templates and pre-made components that you can use to speed up your design process. So you don't have to create everything from scratch. But it's really nice because they have like a lot of components that you might want to have in your design project. Now all you have to do is to come here, find the ones you want to use, copy and paste inside your Webflow project. And as I said, some of them are free. So usually I come here to this website and I search for components let's say for example they have this amazing list of components you can search by collections so these are the templates that they have and you can even use some of the specific components inside that template only to match the design or the style you can search for specific components based on your needs so let's say you need some navigation you need some footer or even a banner a header content logo features testimonials so they divide the components into categories and you can filter and search for a specific categories to find the specific component you are looking for and as you can see you have a lot of options once you find the component you are looking for you can preview it so let's preview one for example this one and you can open inside a web page and see how it looks like how it works if you like it then you can get the component clone the component inside your webflow project and start using it and even if the colors don't match your current style for the specific project you are building you can simply bring it to webflow and tweak it right so at least you don't have to create everything from scratch so this can save a bunch of time they have also this little tab which is from the community so this way you can find a lot of Free components you can use of course they have some premium uh, designs and premium templates and components they are really nice if you're willing to spend a couple bucks but also if you don't want to spend anything then you can use the free ones for sure and they have plenty here and they are amazing it's a good way to get started and build something without starting everything from scratch right so this was the first resource i wanted to share with you and i have even more to share today so let's go for the next one are you enjoying the content so far i hope so if you want to step into the no code space and you want to learn how to launch your startup business without being a technical person i invite you to enroll for free in this free course we offer. The link is down below in the video description section. Just go there and register for free. I hope you like it. Okay, let's jump into the next resource I wanna share with you today. And don't forget that we have two more to go. So the next one is called Reloom Library. And it's a really nice library uh, that you can copy components. They have more than 800 components available so far. And this library is really nice. So let's take a look. If you go to their website, they explain a little bit how it works. They have a library where you can search for components. 
and then you just copy and paste it inside Webflow. So it's really nice because you have a bunch of pre-made sections, pre-made components and structures that you can use. And it's nice because these components that they provide, they don't have much style in it. So it's really for you to get started, get the structure and the components you need, and then add your own style to it later. So it's a really nice library. You just come in, you just check everything. Okay, let's take a look how it is inside. You have here this browse components uh, link and you can see all the components available. They have nav bars, footers, headers, CTA sections and so on. So let's say I'm looking for a nav bar and I click here. I will go inside this other page where they have filters you can apply. You can see all the nav bars available so you can browse all the components for example you can go back and see all the options they have available once you're happy with the the components uh, you can simply click copy and of course you have to pay to access the library and be able to copy the code but it's very affordable considering the amount of time you're going to save so yeah, it's really another option for you, similar to Flowbase, but also a little bit different because in this case, you have the raw components that you can use only the structure and then start creating your project uh, using those components rather than doing everything manually and from scratch. So this can save you a bunch of time. So this is another resource that I really like and I wanted to share with you guys. And also they have a Figma kit as well. So if you are a designer, you can start your project inside Figma using the Reloom Figma kit and then once you are happy with the end result you can jump inside Webflow and use the components that will match the same components inside Fig. That's really nice and will speed up your process a lot. The next resource I want to share with you is called Mosaic and it's another place where you can copy Webflow components and start using those components rather than doing everything from scratch. By the way, all the tools that I'm sharing with you today, they are kind of uh, similar to each other and alternatives that you can use. So this website has a library of pre-made components like you can see, and you can simply select one of them and copy and paste inside Webflow. So you can preview how it looks like. For example, this hero section here, it's working, it's fully coded and then you can get it and copy this and paste it inside Webflow. So they have this components library. You can filter and search the components as you like. And then once you find the specific component you want to use, you simply copy and paste it inside Webflow. So this is another option for you to use and they have beautifully designed components and also full pages that you can copy and start using rather than building everything from scratch inside your Webflow project. And the last but not the least project and resource resource that I want to share with you today in this video is the FinSuite's Client First Webflow style system. And Client First is a new release that the FinSuite guys did a couple months ago. It's a really nice naming convention, design uh, system and documentation approach to make sure that you build websites using a common language and some standards that other developers will understand. I recommend you check this and read it through the website, understand a little bit more of what Client First is because it's really nice. But today, what I want to share with you is their resources uh, page where they have a bunch of wireframes for you to copy. So they have these clonables that were built using client first methodology. And also they are resources for you to get started building projects inside Webflow without doing everything from scratch. So you can leverage these wireframes using client first as well and have a quick start. So you can copy these wireframes as well. And they have also some free templates that you can use. So this is not like the other ones that I showed that you can copy components, but this is like another option for you to copy entire projects. So templates. And also it's nice for you to learn how to assemble and build websites using the client first method, right? So it's another nice resource for you as well. They have some client first live builds here as well. They have a lot of content here. They have uh, videos that you can learn how to use client first. They have the documentation, the clonables, like I said. So it's another amazing resource for you if you are using Webflow and if you are building websites and projects and no code projects using Webflow. And that's all that I wanted to share with you guys today in this video. 
I hope you liked all the four resources that I presented to you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up in the video if you liked it and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here and if you are into the no code space. Thanks for watching. I see you on the next videos. Let's no code.